You may advance materially as far as possible, but if you don't take God consciousness or Krishna consciousness, then the value of all this material advancement is equal to zero. Nobody will be satisfied. So therefore this Krishna consciousness moment should be taken very seriously. It is the finishing touch of American advancement of material comforts. Then people will be very happy and America is already leader of the world. They will be first class leader. The world will be benefited and you will be benefited. And my endeavor will be also successful. Don't keep yourself in zero. Take the one. Then it will be very nice. Just like you can understand very easily, this life very important man, but if there is no spirit soul, it is zero. There is no value. However an important man may be, when the spirit soul is out of the body, it is a lump of matter, it has no value. Anything you take, this, uh, this machine, that machine, any machine, if somebody, some spirit, spiritual being, some living being is not tackling it, what is the value? No value. Therefore, uh, Everywhere the spiritual consciousness must be there, otherwise it is zero. Would, would, you, um, would you comment on the political situation in India now? What do you think about Mrs. Gandhi's? Well, we are not very much concerned with political situation, but our proposition is either polit political, social, economical, or philosophical, anything, without Krishna it is all zero. So far, Mrs. Gandhi is concerned, uh, she is inclined to some spiritual understanding. So actually, if she becomes very advanced spiritually, then this emergency situation will improve. Otherwise, and it is the public opinion against democracy. Uh, so democracy uh, is not very much beneficial. Uh, and, and you had an everywhere in your country also, you voted Mr. Nixon, democracy, but uh, you, you are not satisfied with him. That means democracy, ordinary man, they select somebody and again they try to uh, bring him down. Why? When it, you are selected, it means it was a mistake. So, uh, so according to Vedic civilization, uh, there was no such thing as democracy. It was monarchy. But the monarchy means the king was very highly spiritually advanced. The king was called Rajars, means king at the same time saintly person. We have got another example 
in our country, Gandhi, when he was political leader, he was practically dictator. But because he was a man of very high moral character, people took him, accepted him as the dictator. So dictatorship is good, provided the dictator is highly qualified spiritually. That is the Vedic verdict. The battle of Purukshetra was there because Lord Krishna wanted Rajarsi. Judhisthi should be on the head. So the king is supposed to be the representative of God, so he must be a godly person. Then it will be successful. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama. Rama.